Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Absolutely. So we're looking at the Schumann resonance. After a period of pretty strong activity, there's just a gap. So that's always curious. I always wonder what was there. Well, I, I've seen where it's gone black, and it looks like it's just gathering data, but this is like they took data out. That's different. Well, I'm sure there's an official explanation, of you know. Yes. There's always official explanations. And so Tropical Cyclone Naran did extensive damage in New Caledonia. Uh, this was up to 160 mile an hour winds, you know, and that's starting to get to be just all the time now. Cat, you yeah. know, Cat 5, you know, that used to be a rarity, but everything's changing. I'm going to predict by next year there's going to be like Cat 6, Cat 7, Cat 8. Yeah, they're probably going to have to come out with new categories. Yes, they are. Yeah, I think there's been talk of that uh, as well. So, you know, this one, again, did a lot of damage to crops. And it's just so interesting how these storms, they just seem to pick the areas where we got crops. <laughs> how about that? They just happen to know right where to go. Yeah, you see it wipes out banana crops in far north Queensland. Extensive damage there. The banana prices not expected to skyrocket, but we shall see because there's just one thing after another. And, you know, this one was powerful. As you can see, trees down, boats getting just tossed and turned. There's videos uh, to look at as well, roofs coming off. I really wonder what the Atlantic hurricane season is going to bring this year. Oh, it's going to be full of surprises. Yes, yes it is. You know, it's just a little bit too perfect, these perfect storms. It really is, yeah. So we have flash flooding uh, over in Aguias in Spain. And, you know, again, just cars washing away. Crazy weather. Well, you know, the weather's been crazy for, you know, three plus years now, three and a half years, four years, you know, it's just gone insane. And, you know, you got people that were lucky to escape. Thankfully, they did. Um, it's just incredible. We have over here, we see 10 dead or missing after flash floods. And this is over in Algeria. And again, you know, this is this is Africa, and it is getting swamped with these flash floods. And yet, you know, as we're going to see, we have a real severe drought going on. As you see, look at exceptional there. All that area of exceptional drought, you know, Nevada, over into Utah, Arizona, New Mexico. And then, of course, you know, we had the ice storms that slammed. Uh, Texas and Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi. The weather is just in, insane. It is, and, you know, they're going to have to start making new categories probably next year, I say. Yep, so California's bone dry. Will March bring more misery or a miracle? And, you know, <laughs> you got to throw in those other states in the West. So, you know, where there's water, there's a ton of it. Where there's not, there's absolutely none. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, it's pick your poison, it you is. know. It really, really is. And all the volcanoes that are going off, here we have an eruption of 40,000 feet over at Sangue in Ecuador. And it's been nonstop activity as well over with Etna. And you have the tenth paroxysm at Etna. And here we have ash to 35,000 feet. It's, it's just everywhere we look, it's really, really ramping up. And, you know, there are those, I think, we've, we're have we in the middle of the tribulation period. And, um, you know, well, you know it's, it's hard to argue with what we it see is, going on. Yeah. And you got 22,000 earthquakes since February 24th up in Iceland. And, of course, this is in an area where there's a volcanic field. And, you know, it gets me thinking about that 12,000-year cycle. And, you know, how we're at the crossing point of so many of these different cycles and we have lots of asteroids as well and so this one uh, is going to fly by earth at 0.73 lunar distance tomorrow and this one though is not very big it's only 10 to 20 feet so that would burn up in the atmosphere 
and we're looking over here at strange sounds there's a lot of things that might surprise you for instance what if berlin disappeared in a major eruption berlin the capital of germany scientists discover a large volcano under the capital of germany you know i bet you there's many layers of civilizations that are just completely buried Yes, yes, and let me jump over here. Uh, since we're talking about buried and stuff, Paris is about to collapse underground. Wow. Yeah, it's okay. So you got the capital of Germany, the capital of France. Weird, isn't it? Well, you know what's really weird is there was so much uh, m mining that was done in the 1700s, 1800s uh, in Paris that it got to be really dangerous. And you know what they did? They filled in the tunnels. Ew! Yes. They realized that it was starting to collapse in. And so they filled them up with the skeletons of the poor. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay. History is full of all sorts of stuff that uh, can be pretty creepy and scary at times. And it's real, too. I mean, this is realistically real people that were poor are holding up the Paris streets now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so literally Paris is built on the bones of the poor. Oh, yeah, from cradle to grave. Yep. Now, this is kind of cool and scary at the same time. Drones being used to target hungry moths. This is, this is yeah, the Dutch are doing this. They're using high-tech drones to protect their crops as these little palm-sized drones go on a seek-and-destroy mission and, you know, go to take out moths. And it gets you thinking about... How long will it be until we see, you know, just drones buzzing over our heads in cities? Maybe, you know, there's more of that going on right now than we even realize. I mean, b besides the public play toys. I know. I'm just really glad I'm not a moth at the wrong place at the wrong time right now. Yeah. Moth killing drones to protect crops. Yikes. Yikes. So, you yeah, know, this is the question. Uh, when's all this going to stop? <laughs> that's a very good. That's a million dollar question. Yeah, I and mean, when is all this going to stop? And you know what we've gotten from what we've gotten from the guides is you know we're in a marathon. You know it's not it, it for most of us. Um, you know the rest of our lifespans are going to be uh, challenge adjusting. Yes, adjusting adjusting to the <laughs> changes. Yes. And you know that's just what humans do. We're very resilient. That's the key word here: resiliency. Resiliency, most definitely. And, you know, this is pretty pretty wild. Swiss Alps in a Martian sky. Of course, you know, this is Pacaya erupting. We were talking about all the volcanoes erupting. And, you know, here you go, Semeru giving little smoke rings. <laughs> of course, you know, all the swarms going on in both New Zealand and all the way up in uh, Iceland as well. Did you know that polar bears under that fur, that white fur, they have actually black skin so that they absorb the heat better. That's kind of cool. It is. You know, and nature is such a miracle worker. You know, her and her ability to do alchemy with everything she touches. Hmm. The yeah, motorcycles uh, from World War II time, boy, that looks like one of the ones that the clowns at the circus would get on. And this is interesting. That's the vascular network of a tree. Yeah, and that was exposed from a lightning strike. <gasps> That's fascinating. Isn't that cool? Yes. And how about that? <gasps> it's a tree. Ah, this kind of creepy looking. I don't know what I would do if I ran across that like at midnight or something on a walk. I know. Can you wait? <laughs> well, <laughs> you think there's a Nephilim under there? I would look at the palm and do some palm reading maybe. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Wow. That is so neat. So we see that what we should be doing in order to alleviate this stress is meditation and just more and more studies have shown the meditation is linked to lower cholesterol blood pressure and blood sugar that's it's a practice that more and more people are starting to become aware of you know your best friend when getting into this is your timer and if you have to start at one minute start at one minute because as soon as you start the energy around you starts to change and things start going a little smoother around you yes and you know in in traditional chinese medicine almost all disease is dis-ease which starts as emotions 
it's all about emotions. And so we could see how we could be, you know, played like a fiddle in so many ways uh, with the roller coaster ride of emotions that we have in this world in these times. Everything that we've gone through, the earth changes, you know, of course, the lockdown, all those things build a lot of tension. So yet another uh, study, and this one was published in the American Journal of Cardiology, revealed that those who partake in meditation, regular meditation, have a reduced level of cholesterol, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels. And so the doctor that led the study says, I believe in meditation. It can give us a sense of calm, peace, and stress reduction, leading to an improvement of our emotional well-being. And, you know, it's, I think it's obvious. Well, yeah, those emotions are pesky little buggers, but you know what? If we don't control them, they control us. Yeah. So more and more people are getting into a regular meditative practice. And that's wonderful. And as we've uh, shared with you guys, you know, one of the things we recommend to people is to do the mantras because the mantras, especially when you vibrate them, sends out that vibration, changes your energy patterns, opens up your chakras, and then energy can flow wonderfully. And it's, it's completely a simple, life-changing yes. practice. And we've worked with hundreds and hundreds of people uh, maybe thousands really and so many of them the ones that practice mantras on a daily basis they're different they're just changed they're happier they're healthier they're more focused and you know mantras are a good way to have the mind focus on one thing so it gets to the point where it's able to be still and at peace and then you get that beautiful response you know we get out of the fight and flight side of the nervous system and get into the rest and digest which will help us do things like again lower cholesterol blood pressure and blood sugar and you know just like with anything else though you got to give it a little bit of time a little bit of patience but it will happen and it becomes a blissful practice it does it does so guys thanks so much for your support on ko-fi and patreon we couldn't do it without you make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked anybody that needs to reach us it's evolutionary energy arts at gmail or eearts at protonmail.com god bless and namaste wait wait i'm sorry i'm sorry guys you ready yes here we go Okay, God bless and namaste. God bless. Namaste, guys.